Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Well, have I got a story for you. The story of a passenger who had a doctor's note saying that they were fully vaccinated, that they had completed their vaccination cycle, they had all the things they needed to have, they had their documents, they had their passports, they had everything. Him and his wife are all set to go. She finished her second dose and was fully vaccinated and they went off on a cruise and at the cruise port Norwegian Cruise Line said, ah, no, sorry, you're not eligible and you're denied boarding. And let me tell you what happens when you're denied boarding. So first I'll tell you the story, then I'll tell you the ramifications, and then I'll tell you the logic behind it and the reasoning behind it. And you tell, try and think along with me and tell me whether or not this couple should get their money back for the cruise being denied boarding, even though their doctor told them they were fully vaccinated and the cruise line said, no, you're not fully vaccinated. It's another interesting story. So a couple who reside in the country of France decided to celebrate being locked in and finally being vaccinated and everything looks like it's getting better. They wanted to take a cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line's Epic. And they booked a cruise. They followed all the guidelines that it was saying. Now, she had just finished her, her second dose, so they booked a cruise over the 14-day waiting period. And then they headed off on their trip. And when they arrive, Norwegian Cruise Line is testing everybody before you get on the cruise. That's one of their protocols. So perfect. They went into the testing site, they handed in their documentation and proof of vaccine, and before you know it, they said they started looking at them a little different than they were looking at everybody else. They asked them to go sit in another location. They didn't get tested. And before you know it, somebody came out with a denied boarding saying, sorry, you do not meet the qualifications for vaccination for getting on this cruise. And they said, what are you talking about? I, uh, you know, my doctor says I'm vaccinated. My wife has been vaccinated. What's going on? So here's the thing. The gentleman contracted COVID and then recovered and then got one dose of Pfizer. And now in France, that is now considered fully vaccinated. COVID recovery, one dose of the Pfizer vaccine, fully vaccinated. His wife, two doses, fully vaccinated. However, the World Health Organization and the CDC both do not recognize yet one recovered and one dose unless that dose is Johnson & Johnson because it only requires one dose to be vaccinated. So the couple, because France says they are vaccinated, but the rest of the world says it's not vaccinated, <laughs> you see the confusion that everyone gets and why why that the, all this vaccination rules and the different vaccines and everything are so complicated for the cruise lines and travel agents and people just to navigate through. It can become a little ridiculous. So your country says you're vaccinated, but the cruise line says you're not. And uh, that, if you think about it, Canadians were in the same boat. For the longest time, they were saying anyone with AstraZeneca vaccine was not vaccinated because it was not recognized by the CDC. However, it soon eventually did change, but right now it still has to be the CDC or the World Health Organization recommended vaccines. And France went ahead and said, this is okay, but it's not recognized yet. There's studies out there, there's recommendations out there, but they haven't cleared it yet. So they were denied. And of course, they're still wanting their money back. 
They say, number one, their doctor told them that they were vaccinated. Their country tells them they're vaccinated. And they say that Norwegian Cruise Line didn't give them enough, no, you know, there wasn't enough information on their website to say and that they are not eligible for this cruise. All right, so let me tell you exactly the rules behind it and exactly what happened. But before I do that, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all these kinds of stories because European travel, you can go and you may have different <laughs> vaccinations. You may not be able to go. So you might want to keep up to date with all these protocols, all the new ship starts, all the cruise vlogs and all the cruise tips. Doesn't cost anything that just says, hey, there's another video out if you'd like to watch it. And I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so Royal Caribbean has denied their refund, stating that it says very, very clearly, if you are denied boarding because you have not completed all of the steps to get on board, if you are not fully vaccinated according to the World Health Organization or according to CDC and you're denied boarding, you're not eligible for a refund. They could have called ahead of time and said, no, we have to get another vaccine shot apparently, and they could have lifted and shifted their crews. They did not do that. So Royal Caribbean said, no, uh, they're not getting a refund for their crews. The couple says they should get a refund because it's it's not stated very clearly, but it, it is on their website. It clearly says CDC who approved vaccination. And unfortunately, they did not get two doses of Pfizer. They only got the one. Good in your country, not good according to everybody else. So this couple actually reached out to one of those, those uh, newspapers and columns that actually try and you know, intervene, you know, you see those market watch and all this other stuff where these people are being ripped off and we're going to try and help them out. Uh, and they tried to, in, to, to go in, but they looked at the facts as well. And all they could really do was say, well, it clearly says that it is not recognized. Royal Caribbean does have the right to say no. Uh, sorry, uh, Norwegian Cruise Line does have the right to say you're not eligible for the cruise and not give you your refund because it does say that everywhere on their page. But we'll reach out to them too anyway and they sent the letter and everything and our Norwegian did reply saying uh, we really appreciate this uh, but you know we if we start giving money to every mistake that's out there um, even though it's clearly stated we would be going through these emails and trying to refund money and people would try and get refunds when they don't deserve it and it would be a backlog. So they're not going to set a precedent on somebody who actually technically, whether it's morally right or not, technically right, the cruise line is not doing anything wrong in this particular case. They're following their own rules, their own guidelines and unfortunately for this couple, they're in the country that seem to balk at what all the other countries are going with right now. And I know exactly how they feel. For the longest time, Canada was the same way. And I am just lucky that I got two doses of an approved vaccine. In fact, I waited for that. I purposely did not go get the AstraZeneca vaccine because I, I did not see it being approved in the in the United States and I knew it might interfere with my cruising attempts or any travel attempts, which is part of my job. So yeah, uh, there you go. No refund, all because it was, you know, so this is a warning to anybody out there who has gotten COVID and thinks they're immune or has gotten COVID and goes for one dose. Uh, you know what? Check, double check, call. Go through the websites, find out exactly what is considered in the country you're sailing, what is considered fully vaccinated. Because you may think you're vaccinated, you may, your doctor may think you're vaccinated, but guess what? You might not be technically vaccinated. <laughs> it's such a mess. And I can't wait for all this to finally disappear at some point, but I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. I think these protocols are here until at least the summer next year, as far as the testing and the vaccines are required. We'll see what happens next summer, but 
Let me know what you do. Do you think this couple deserves to have their money back? Do you think it's just a complete, uh, you know, Norwegians should have should have given their money back, you know, as a goodwill gesture? Or do you think, yeah, you know what, if we give it to them, we have to give it to them, we have to give it to them, we have to give it to them. And it becomes hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, instead of, you know, $3,000 for this couple. Well, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you appreciate this little update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.